In this tutorial, we are going to see how to get both digital letters while user doing a sign up we will get a password so at that time we want to check whether he providing a numbers and also a letters both at the same time so let's see how to do that so let's create one input field and then button okay this is going to be a confirm button let's create a script drag and drop the script to the canvas open the script okay so we are going to have unity engine.ui so in order to use ui system you want to include this namespace okay so if you see while i am pressing it should not show to the user so i'm right so we want to change the input field to from standard to password so then only you can able to make as a password input field but if you see there is no option to allow to find whether he typing both the letters and numbers some password need to be strong so at that scenario we are going to use this kind of this kind of system if you use alphanumeric it is not possible i'm right so let's have right now as a standard okay so we are going to do how going to solve this issue okay using system dot link so delete default life cycles i mean start and update okay we are going to have our own function called public input field let's have a variable first okay public input field password val so this is going to get our input field so that that is called a password input okay and then we are going to add a function void check password condition so once user press ok button or sign up button whatever so we want to check the condition time right so that's why i add that function so try and drop the password input and the button just highlight over that button okay it should need to be in public okay check condition so going to be in public then only we can be able to access in editor for the button so i am going to make it as public can call that that's it so you can able to you should see yeah so now we everything setup is fine let's make some scripting validation if so let's grab that input value so i'm going to create a string called receive string it going to refer the password input okay so if received is string dot any character c h a r char dot is we are going to check if whether it is letter then one more condition that's it instead of letter we are going to have digit okay so once if it is success in two condition it will come here okay password input dot text <coughs> and then in the else statement we are going to show some debug okay we'll say 
show in both if and else okay so in if statement we are going to have yes allow to submit okay and then in else we are going to have some different thing like don't allow okay so just let's create some good sentence maybe okay so let's check it out how it's okay so if you see a a it don't allow if you see one one value it's also don't allow it should be contain both letters and numbers so one one a yeah it's allowing so everything is working fine so this this contain alpha numeric validation okay so next we will see okay next we'll see other type of things like uh, we can have uh, one more one more thing is uh, capital one one letter should be capital that kind of scenario okay if you type caps a one you can able to validate with the help of one more condition receive string dot any of care dot is uppercase okay is upper there will be a okay is upper so now we, let's check it out so we are giving triple security i mean triple validation thing in order to make password a little bit more strong see So once it has a caps, it will allow. If it's, that is no caps in your string, it won't allow. Okay. So let's make change to password because uh, it's going to be a password system. So I'm just changing to password. So instead of having alphanumeric, and then you want to show dot dot. So let's have straight away password and validate inside the script. That is the best way. Instead of using alpha numeric for password, that is not a best way because password need to be dot dot. Then only other people can be able to see. Okay, so that's it, guys. So if you think this video is help, very helpful for you, please subscribe us and hit bell icon to see more tips and tutorials. Thank you.